so it will be taken by Olivia Upa Upa. <laughs> Pario. Pala Pario. Butubu free. Cleared by Dialoi. Kumar. Davis wanted this ahead of her. Davis to the captain. Jalloway. Captain Berry just looks to the heavens. Let's finish Pala with tons of space. Oh, what a mistake! Papua New Guinea are taking the lead! And after 20 minutes here at the National Stadium of the Solomon Islands, where it was a rather weak strike from Phyllis Pala and a mistake by Mereseini Wangali has gifted a goal for Papua New Guinea. Yeah, looking at that shot by uh, Phyllis Pala, Mereseini Wangali, really an easy attempt. We are watching her during the uh, warm-ups here. She was missing this sort of uh, kicks that were coming her way and a simple goal and a big mistake by Fiji goalkeeper Merisani Wangali. A feeble attempt, but it's all about scoring. Papua have got that, Papua New Guinea. Fiji got a mountain now to climb. Well, you get the sense, Raymond, that we needed that goal to ease everyone's tension. Davis. Darting forward, gets past Laeli, touch it back inside. Damon Asau! Yellow eyes sprinting back. Fiji wasting no time at all. Yellow eye, Masao, Davis wide, Kumar. That was missed by Gunemba. It's the goal scorer Pala who's dropped back. There she is now, the number 14. Looks to release Kaipu. Falls instead for Butubu. Pala. Butubu. Heavy on the touch. Again. Here it is. A darting one from Trina Davis. Beautiful cutback. Missed by both players. Damon Asao with a chance to equalize seconds later. Yeah, the Papua New Guinean midfield of uh, Ramona Padio and Phyllis and but Bututumbu really looking excellent because you see the space that they've got to move here and the Fijian midfield really not at all trying to close them down and we can see one pass beats the whole midfield of the Fijian midfield here. But uh, kudos to the uh, Papua New Guinea side. They're playing as a coordinated team. It's a decent challenge from Unaisi Kumberi. Still given away by Vanisha Kumar. You do get the sense she should have been stuck in midfield instead of further up the pitch, Raymond. Yeah, Angeline Reka, the uh, defense not coordinating like the semi finals we saw earlier on in against the New Caledonians. But you got to give the Papua New Guineans. They look the better side at this stage of the game. Pario to Upa Upa. Pario. Steps over. Got it through for Elipas. Mountains of space. Putubu threads it through. Dialoi. A heavy, strong slide and tackle from Butubu. Still, Dialoi. Davis. That was missed by Laeli. Bakani, Laeli. Mario. And the pressure from Bakani Feva. Yeah, I can see the already Vanisha Kumar is not a speedster up front uh, in the strikers. He's been a midfielder throughout in the semi-finals, defended in midfield, but today that speed up front is lacking. I'm not really sure the reason why that she's playing up front here, but 
it's where the midfield is really easily been broken by the Papua New Guinean uh, midfielders here this uh, evening over Fiji. Rata under pressure. Concedes a free kick. Papua New Guinea do enjoy their set pieces. Fabio will come across to take this. Twenty-five minutes gone by here at the National Stadium of the Solomon Islands. Papua New Guinea with the with the lead at the moment. Padio off the left boot should be in swinging near post, headed away. Lamba. This time Fiji breaking forward. Bakaniteva outpaced. Phyllis Pala. Cardio. It's thrown for Fiji. Nerea. Well, Vanisha Kumar, the number five, who's now playing as a striker. Kaipu sprinting forward. Davis just let that go. Fiji's firepower being nullified at the moment. The pieces in that jigsaw that makes up their first 11 in disarray at the moment. Bakani. Kaipu Up and back Poor control by PNG International Marie Kaipu Is it switch Bonifeva Nassau Davis Makes her shrugged off Play on says the referee He was physically pushed off the way Put Right in boom. front of the assistant referee Decent challenge from Zamanasau. Davis not expecting that challenge. That's out, Angeline Shua, the coach for Fiji. Having a word of the players. Butubu. Butubu just tracks away to no one in particular. Dialoi. Step over. Tumberi. Nassau. Mario to Pala. Bonifeva. Greta. Bonifeva for Nassau. Well, Dialuai held back. Kimberry. Here she is now, Sophia Dialuai. Player coming on here, Kimberry. Skypu. She goes down. Calvin Berg with a word at free kick. it from a bird's eye perspective you will see there are so few players up front for Fiji covered in defense by the PNG wall Morris Butubu Yellow Eye good control so to Masao lays up for Kumar Here go, but there's no options about five midfielders right now for Fiji. Yeah, they've got really no options up front for Vanisha. She doesn't have much support. Playing in a different position today, finding it difficult. Well, the coaches know what they're doing best. Kaipu off the right boot was weak. Yellow 
or Fiji. They're one goal down and playing around. <laughs> Pala, you'd expect a sense of urgency to get the ball to the other side. They've barely been inside the penalty area. Marsh. A poor clearance. Fiji fortunate but didn't ricochet off for a corner. Throwing for Papua New Guinea. Bakani coming across to take this throw. Right now I can see uh, the Norris drop back into a more midfielder position as Davis looks to break. Darts past the second player and the third. Davis looking to take on Laeli. Coming Nassau ahead of her. Nassau is on the box for Fiji. Cuts it back inside. It was weak. Easily taken by Kasurai. Yeah, you look at the Fiji's attack here. Really didn't have much numbers up front here. It's just them and Nassau and Manisha Kumar forming. Uh, and the uh, false striker, as they would say, is Manisha Kumar. She's not. Uh, using you can see she's falling back into midfield now for the Fiji side again she loses it to an experience uh, uh, po a Paidio Kaipu with not just poor ball control and further poor ball control Pala Olympus Pala again Defense by Marea. Yeah, this is the uh, Trina Davis run away from two and away from the third one. She had the runners, but you look at the white jerseys up front looking for her support. She didn't have much as we go for the water break here on the 30th minute mark. Although shown as 31st at the moment, uh, it'll be a water break because of the humidity here. Uh, humid conditions here in Honiara would be anticipated rain well they're saying every day that uh, there will be rain but we haven't seen that we saw a bit of that in Lawson Tama earlier in the week but just a slight drizzle but the uh, water that were the uh, sprinklers that was turned on prior to the start of this game here certainly has softened the ground a bit here but the Fiji side not playing as a coordinated side that we saw in the semi-finals here Papua New Guinea playing as a team coming up in support Red, they are controlling the midfield extremely well uh, Ramona Padio the captain is leading and uh, Butumbu certainly uh, is uh, working the midfields well here and up front uh, when you look at uh, Kaipu Mary Kaipu the lone striker Papua New Guinea are using a lone striker but it's successful because their midfielders are coming up to give support and on their flanks they're using their flanks very well, the Papua New Guinea side. And they have found that the Fiji defense is shaky. They may be nervous, not quite sure, sure, but the Fiji defense is shaky. Papua New Guinea are taking advantage of those through passes uh, behind the last line of defense for Fiji. Upa Upa to Phyllis Pala. Sliding in was Elipis. Here comes the cross. The other way to use. Kumar is dropped. Dialoi, Davis waiting. Still Sophia Dialoi, she can drive straight through. Butubu is tracking her. But she held on to that a little too long. And full back for Fiji, Pala, took her wrist. Yeah, you can see already that Sophie's run up front. She didn't have much white jersey surrounding her. Uh, she had a walk, but the red jerseys had outnumbered her. So what would her options be? She didn't know at that stage that the midfielders not giving support, staying far out. Yeah. Just a little switch because this woman, Davis, is cutting in. Nice close. Yellow eye. Again, muscled out by Butubu. Covered easily by Kumberi. 
the other way. That was poor from That's his poor. That's poor by the captain. Kumar, Nisha. They like to run Gunemba down. It falls wide for Laulamba. Davis is calling for this. Trina Davis gets it. Four, five Papua New Guineans have tracked back to cover. Yeah, but still with Fiji going up front, you look, there's no support coming in here. When you look at the Papua New Guineans, when they go out on attack, there's runners on the right side in the middle. And the support is coming with the red jerseys, whereas Fiji, they don't have much support here coming from the midfield to the strikers up front. Pala. Morris for party. Oh, find space again. Type with running. Type on side. Murray Kaipu to make it two. Decent save on Mali. Kaipu down. Butubu strikes. Goes wide. Hey, Kaipu is clutching at her right. You can chin. see Ramona again just putting it just behind the Fiji defender. And it looks good. And Kaipu ra racing through. Fiji goalkeeper still not steady. Mer Merisaini Wangali. But Kaipu had played it through well. Look at that little chip over uh, over Tumberi and racing away. The save was a good one when you look about, about it just outside the box. But still, the Fiji defenders did not come to assist the goalkeeper as she was down already. Well, Angeline Shua, the coach for Fiji, You'd think that would like to make some changes. You can see the urgency in Ertz and Cummins' gestures. But on the bench for Fiji, what options do they have right now? They have a lot of it. They got Narieta Lemba, in the, uh, who is a renowned Eremi Nai up front. And of course, although Luisa Tamini Tokula, she, they bring her on as a uh, uh, this concerned Fiji bench. Shamal Kumar, the goalkeeper's coach with the Fiji Football Vice President for Women, Susan. I'm pleased to see Kaipu. Well, she's limping gingerly to the side. Not going to get it right now. Down to 10 players. Diallo Y. Kimberi. It's Angela Reka. Well, Evan Nassau is claiming she was pushed by the member. The LOI keeps this in. He's looking at yet again for the run of Davis. Throw in Fiji. Kaipers re-entered the fray. The LOI for Davis. Turns. Still Trina Davis. Again, Fiji holding the ball just a little too long. Kaipu's raised her hand saying, Teacher, pick me, please. A decent cover in defense from Angeline Reka. Brings it forward for Fiji. Demon Nassau on side. Kessirai out of her box. Nassau is beating Kessirai. Open goal. And off her chest. Fiji keeping everyone on their toes, Raymond. <laughs> A very excited Germany. Germany here. As we look at the break by them and Asao. Turned it easily away from uh, Carissa Ray. But Dema just couldn't put it a bit too high away. Davis with the corner. Davis floats it in. And it's kept in by Laulamba. Kumar tries to recover. Good fight by Butubu. Kaipu now. Butubu's ahead of her. And sprinting out is Wangali. Cleared. Back to Kumar. 
Dalloway. This is Ambua. Looking together. I miss that. Just a momentary lapse in concentration. that the coming forward possesses Bala and Elipis move forward he didn't have the full confidence that Trina Davis on the opposite side of the pitch has to reach that pass Thank goodness Raymond's a slow walk to take this throw. Yeah, just buying time. Heading to uh, all looking forward to the halftime break probably, but Papua New Guinea is still very strong in their attack here. Coordinated in their attack. They have the numbers up front. There's always an options up front, but they're taking shots here with the Fiji defense. Looking a bit shaky. Probably more nerves than looking shaky. Yes. And they're slowly settling Fiji, the Alawai. They've had more possession than Papua New Guinea. Morris, Kaipu. Cuts it back to her right foot. Off target. Off a weaker right. Hands on the head. Being shown by Angeli Reka. You see the cutback from Kaipu. Here it is. She turned the other way inside out. The other way for Timberi. The table fighting Palad. Cuts in between, well, no one inside the box for PNG. And that sliding challenge from Jockey Vinitambua. It is corner number three for Papua New Guinea. Fadio walking closer to, to the close side to take this. Scored from this angle before, both domestic and international matches. Pario. Kaipu comes. Pario goes high. Deep ball. Tambua in defense. Does well. Wins a throw. by the member. Kamikora. Pakani. Nice ball for Eli Pressman. He's watching the Pala for Morris. The table is on the other side. If they can keep this in, they got a chance for Lamba. Couldn't have the pace to keep that in. Switch with Elipus. Barrio, wonderful pirouette. He took a movement. Kumar, any favor? Yeah, the live wire in the semi final. Bakini, they were very, very quiet here today. Probably overrode by the occasion. Normally, she's a fighter in midfield. Let's see what she can come up in the second half here. For the Fiji side, it's been dominated by Papua New Guinea, possession-wise, setup-wise, and the number of attempts also. And they're already leading in the corner kicks by three. Fiji given it away, though they have a chance right now. Alamba, well, no one forward. Kumar is looking up. 
It's behind her. No, and they don't. Lumbar. They don't come together as a team forward, don't they? When you see Papua New Guinea, they come forward together as a team. Options are there for the ball, uh, ball player at the, the stages here, and this is where Papua New Guinea looking good, superior of the two sides in this finals at this stage. Played in favour of Fiji, aside from Amarea. Can bear it down. Pario. Watch instead for Kala. Elipo, sorry. Morris. Match with Davis. She's alone. Cut out by Mani Elipo. She shifted with Michael Mbutubu. She's going to be flagged for that challenge on Angelina Oaka. Yeah, Rekka went across to uh, Wellington Phoenix for trials. Four minutes of at a time being shown by uh, Ben Akuai, the Solomon uh, referee. In Papua New Guinea, while they've been able to cut out a lot of the Fijian passes, she's inside La Lamba. Well, I have to say, Raymond, it's been a while, Alamba. I haven't been impressed with her in the last 45 minutes. Well, she's playing out of position. She's a natural defender. They put her on the left side of midfield today. Probably, I'm not quite sure the reason. That's why I say the lineup bemuses me from the semi final lineup that played extremely well against a tough New Caledonian side. Remember, the New Caledonian and Papua New Guinea fought it out to a draw. When they played in the pool play, but on uh, on that semi-final on Monday, Fiji outclassed the New Caledonians. Roman and I both gobsmacked as David launches. Here it comes, maybe. Well, that was wonderful from Davis to Zamanasau. And uh, again, Lomba. It's a beautiful free kick. Demanasau and Lomba, the 15-year-old, should have done better than that, the ACS secondary school student. Well, for a 15-year-old to be playing at these games, at this level, that's off to her as Davis drops. And that was highly ambitious from Davis. Only succeeds in giving this away as Cassire. There's enough time to wait for the coffee to be delivered. Laeli. Beaten out. Davis. Check in. Turns on the afterburners. Cuts it back inside. Still. Davis gets the ball across. Lamba in possession for Fiji. Falls back to Merea. The crowd urging her to shoot. Now it falls. Yeah, as we go into the added time, Fiji slowly getting the momentum. And I think uh, at the halftime break will be a good one for them to coordinate themselves again. They're getting there, but the finishing just not coming there. So have a look at it again. Here was the chance for Zatovini Tambua. But the goal below went for the heavens. The Italian ball just clipped <laughs> on the cheek. Riley Davis. Now Kaipu. Needs to be careful, Rekka. Marea. Opting for intelligence, Fiji. Dialoi. And Jackie Vini Tambua just gave up. Pass was a poor pass by uh, the captain. Was. Georgina Bakani 
comes across. The food was back in position. Not the best of clearances by Diallo and still. And Gavin Berg goes an end to the first 45 minutes here at the National Stadium of the Solomon Islands. The nerves had been in the air. Both sides had walked in. Fiji in their first ever gold medal playoff in the Pacific Games. Papua New Guinea defending the next. Well, they're defending five in a row, chasing number six. Tension palpable, and it wasn't until 20 minutes in, the midfielder Phyllis Pala's weak right boot went past Meraseini Wangali. Yeah, a very good first half here from Papua New Guinea's point of view. But Fiji getting back closer by in the end, uh, uh, towards the end. But still, the coordination is not there. So half time here with Papua New Guinea leading Fiji by one goal to nil. And here are the highlights of this first half. Well, Papua New Guinea had entered the pitch a little later than Fiji had. Despite their rampant 3-0 win over New Caledonia, this is a new look. In terms yeah. of... Yeah, Fiji well, looked at the, the, the toss that was won by uh, Sophie. She opted to play at the uh, uh, road end. And um, reasons unknown, but definitely she were, they were put to the wire so early into this uh, first half here and uh, Kaipu with lovely chances and in the, the striker's position for uh, uh, Murray Kaipu keep testing the keeper early Trina Davis the strike up front by Fiji really had no firepower and Faith Karise uh, did well in the, those early stages but this is the easy one that went in uh, the shot by uh, Phyllis Pala and sliding on the ground as uh, Fiji goalkeeper Merisani Wangali really is. Trina Davis working hard as usual. Themanasau having that opportunity and the good defense by uh, Papua New Guinea. Trina again away from three uh, Papua New Guinean players. She did well away against the captain but she didn't have much support and Mary Kaipu had another opportunity. Great save by goalkeeper Marisani Wangali. Kaipu again turning. Beautiful turn by uh, Kaipu. And uh, keeping the uh, Fiji defense at bay many a time. Demanasau, but this was the big miss by Seraya Lomba at the left side of midfield for uh, Fiji this evening. Well, at 1 0, heading into half time. The next 45 minutes to decide the fate of both countries. Will it be Papua New Guinea taking this, their sixth gold medal or Fiji picking up their first? Well, an entertaining first half of the women's football gold medal match between Papua New Guinea and Fiji. Papua New Guinea with a slender 1-0 lead. Lisa, that is a breathless first half, isn't it? That's right. Uh, Papua New Guinea leading one goal in the first half and the crowd is loving it we've got the second half uh, to be looking forward to uh, still we've got the next 45 minutes so we still are anticipating the end result of this gold medal match it's Papua New Guinea leading by one goal in the first half now um, before getting back to the second half uh, of the match we'll take in uh, the women's super sprint triathlon before we head back for the second half of the gold medal women's football match. Now the Pacific Games of 2023 sees the introduction of the Super Sport Triathlon for men and women. A short course event consisting of a 400 metre swim, a 10k bike ride and a 2.5k run. And in hot and steamy conditions it was the two Tahitian women Salome de Partes and Mighty Suset who dominated the swim league so set at just 17 years old with a very strong swimming background, at the age of 13 decided 
to compete in triathlons. And her more experienced teammate Debate is at her third Pacific Games working and training in Switzerland. And they were the first out of the National Aquatic Centre. A deviation from other triathlon events. The swimming pool rather than an open water swim to start this triathlon. And as the two Tahitians headed into the bike transition, they posted a time of 5 minutes 44 seconds in the pool. Would they work in tandem on the bike leg? Well, they were out of the transition gate at the same time. And onto the hot streets from the National Stadium. The chasing pack consisting of Fijian Charis Kwong in third place in a time of 6 minutes 15 seconds. Was three seconds ahead of her 16-year-old teammate, Caddy Patty. But it was Debates and Suset who dominated the bike leg. Down from the National Stadium towards downtown Honiara and back up again a loop track for the bike section and the Tahitians really working well as a tandem. Four laps of the bike section. They'd lapped some of the slower members of the field by this stage, including the Solomon Islands triathlete. And the chasing pack, led by Katie Madison, who headed out of the bike transition, having overtaken her Fijian counterpart, Kwong. She found herself in third place, with Manon Brasseur from New Caledonia also making her way through the field to take fourth, and fellow New Caledonian Celine Herzell moving into fifth. In fact, Herzell had exited the pool in eighth place, but headed into her favourite bike leg and showed why she was the number one ranked rider in the field. And try as they may, the chasing pack just not able to reel in the leading Tahitians. Really hot and brutal conditions in the morning of Honiara and again the chasing pack just overtaking and lapping which is easy to do on a loop track but into the run transition the leading pair the Bartes and Suset the question here is would they work in tandem on the run or would one make a break with an eye on the gold medal. And it was Debates who took a slight advantage over Suset in the transition. With the chasing pack in tow, they knew they would need to really make a strong play in the final leg to catch the leading two. But it was Debates first back out onto the loop running track with Suset fading in the distance of the two and a half K run. Herzell had made a break on the chasing pack of three to secure her spot in bronze. But on the final loop of the run, it was Debates with the National Stadium in her sights and a gold medal in her grasp. What a feeling it must be. After the 400 metre swim, the 10k bike ride and coming to the end of the 2.5k run for Debates. Encouragement from fans and supporters as she made the final turn and headed down the home straight. The blue carpet of the final shoot indicating the end was near and just the finishing line ahead of her. She took the advantage out of the run transition and never looked back. And Debates finishing her run in a time of 9 minutes 22 seconds and 43 seconds ahead of Suzette who would claim silver. And so a 1-2 for Tahiti. And a moment between teammates embrace on the finishing line. There was still a bronze medal to be decided. 
And it was Celine Herzell of New Caledonia who took the bronze in the women's super sprint triathlon. And then we have the uh, super sprint women's triathlon, the triathlon events taking place yesterday and uh, this morning as well. Uh, tough conditions, um, pretty uh, hot out there in the morning, but uh, yep, the triathlon um, successfully uh, done yesterday and today. Yeah, it was hot out there for me, filing that story from the roads of Honiara. Well, hot and steamy tonight here at the National Stadium as well. Women's football action, the gold medal match between Papua New Guinea and Fiji. Papua New Guinea with a lead at the moment, one goal to nil. Just catching up with the women's bronze medal match, which was played earlier today. It was New Caledonia with a 3-1 win over Samoa. So Lisa, New Caledonia take bronze. But who will take gold and who will take silver in the second half? And very soon we will find out. But uh, we, I stepped out um, earlier just to um, see what the atmosphere is like, but it's really, really going off. Um, it's women's football, but it's really good to see a lot of people coming out uh, to support uh, the game tonight and looking forward to the final, the men's uh, football final tomorrow morning. So that's going to be uh, interesting as well. Yeah, it uh, will be a, an interesting match tomorrow. I'm sure there may be some people staying here at the National Stadium overnight so they can book a good seat for that gold medal match uh, tomorrow, Solomon Islands versus New Caledonia. Take a chance now to take a look at some of the first half highlights from this match, and it was the goal to talk about. And uh, the goal scored maybe a little bit unlucky for the Fijian goalkeeper. The National Stadium surface has had a lot of action over the last two weeks, beginning right back with Rugby League 9s and Rugby 7s, as well as a track and field. And I think if she had her time again, she would uh, maybe just get the hands right in front of the body there, skipped up over, giving Papua New Guinea the lead. Papua New Guinea the five times gold medalist, of course, gunning for a sixth gold medal in women's football. Can they hold out in the second half? We will find out soon. But you were actually right, uh, Seamus, uh, the field has been through um, a rough uh, couple of past days, so the surface isn't uh, really that perfect. The first goal that went through. You can see there the Fiji players just coming to the field of play. Spare a thought for the ground staff having to turn the national stadium from a rugby ground into a track and field venue and then finishing up with a football venue all in the space of 10 days or so. They've done a fantastic job, Rod Rayner and his crew, not just here at the National Stadium, but all across the venues of the 2023 Pacific Games. Well, will it be Fiji or will it be Papua New Guinea? We will find out with the second 45 minutes with Jeremy Moggy and Raymond Stoddard. Papua New Guinea in support here, wanting to make history with six, number six in the gold medal uh, for them in the women's football. Fiji, for the first time, will be trying to win gold medal here. We've got another exciting 45 minutes in this second half here. Yeah, the atmosphere has been electric here. And Emma Mireya playing in defense, being urged on by Angeline Recker in defense. Because Emma Mireya has been playing in the left side of defense where she was a striker in the semi-finals when she got that first goal, Jeremy. I'm not too sure whether there'll be changes made. Looking at the Fiji 11 right now, they're on the pitch. It appears Angelina Chua has chosen to remain with the same positioning that they had in the first 45 minutes. Members of both the Fiji and PNG contingent here tonight. A yeah. wonderful atmosphere. Definitely is because uh, the men's one bronze medal. Likewise, tomorrow morning is the half marathon. Then you got the football, the men's football at 10 o'clock, and of course the beach volleyball and the boxing finishes uh, here. So exciting day tomorrow with the closing ceremony uh, later on in the evening, right here at the main national stadium. As the teams come out now, we haven't seen any changes in the Fiji side so far. Just looking at the information from the officials, no changes by both sides. Mm. 
neutral fact. I spoke too soon. It's Vanessa Kumar that come off. Raymond Nareda Lemba. Nareda Lemba. So it's probably a good change, but Nareda Lemba uh, is definitely one of the uh, the speedster in this side here. Uh, when you look at Vanisha, it lacks speed here today. So Narieta Lemba, as uh, we have seen her uh, moving into the uh, striker's position throughout, she has a bit of speed. Uh, let's see what the Papua New Guineans who run in late here, pretty confident for this second half here. They've had a very good uh, first half here. Whether they change because the team's playing extremely well. Papua New Guinea, who in the opening few minutes sought to impose themselves in this match. So the late Fiji fight back. And this woman, Faith Cassiway, who's well, throughout the tournament has barely been tested tonight. She's had to handle with a number of shots on target from Fiji, most of them from range. Yeah, Fiji had a chance, but they didn't take you capitalized on it. Let's see what comes up, what they've come up in the second half. The halftime pep talk by the coach Angela Chua for Fiji. Mr. makes it go out for a throw. Another who, who she had an opportunity to score the young 15-year-old. Yeah, we see the change that Demma right. Nassau has gone in the striker's position for the Fiji side. So, yeah, tactical change of putting the speedster. But still, Papua New Guinea continue. And Elipis. Opala scored in the first 20. Mba. Demma Nassau is up front. And well, I'm not too sure. I think it's... Maybe Laheli. No, it's not. It's Phyllis Pala. The goal scorer. Yeah, it is Phyllis Pala who's, who's down. Drop ball in favor of fourth. Of Fiji. given away quite cheaply. This is Emma Merea. Throws for Nareta Lemba. Turning in. Well, Davis is darting. Kessie out. Yeah, it's good to see the Fiji side putting pressure on the Papua New Guinean defense early in this second half here. Getting a bit of confidence in the positional change has made a slight difference up front in the attacking formation for the Fiji side here this evening. Alarm bells were going off. Then Davis came forward. Kimberry Bua Rekha Davis Still Davis Patio Davis losing the battle against Butubu as Kaipu is ahead And coming further Butubu turns Kaipu Vini Tom Bua Bua down The physio, physiotherapists. Yaka. Yaka, oh, he should be taken by the member. 
comes off Kemenasau's head straight to Cassaway. Fubu, Pario. Calvin Berg is right in front of him as Tambua was brought down. Kubu, Mario, then Mario pushing her further down. Davis headed down. Very wide. Coming us out on side. Players in the box for Fiji. Good number will just blast this towards the halfway. Kaipu. The yellow one needs to be careful. Waka Kaipu's on. Fiji defense spoons him back. That's Angeline Rekha. That came to the rescue. And surprising. A good, good build up out of defense is coming south. Try to get past Laeli. The throw in favor of Fiji. The assistant referee, Salamacina, had pointed in one direction. This man, Calvin Bird, pointed in the other. PNG with the throw. 51 minutes gone by. National Stadium. Papua New Guinea. One. Fiji. Yet to score. Davis. The kind is strong. Given away multiple free kicks, quick succession. Yeah, it's a change Fiji inside in the second half here. Uh, looking more firepower up front. Uh, Sophie, the captain, getting a slight knock. The LOI. Fijian support here this evening. Of course, the PNG support outnumbers them. You can tell every time PNG makes some great move up there, but. The Fijian side, the girl side now, really picking up from uh, their first half here. It's going to be exciting times now. Trina Davis to Fiji. Directly towards Kasuei, one over the bar. Too much power in, in that. Threads it for the Kaipu. Wala Waka. Comfortable playing out of defense. Raymond, they're making my heart race as well. <laughs> Davis. Darts past. Again, that pace from Trina Davis. Flag being raised though. The assistant referee pulling it that she went by. I heard some of the crowds not loving that. But she went on a run. If you look from that. Uh... The LOI. That's the table. Troy P and G. It uh, was Phyllis Pala, a poor control from Butubu. Yeah, the Papua New Guineans keeping a, cap, a close tab on uh, Trina Davis. Every time you notice she has possession, there's two, three close by to her. Again, Papua New Guinea It's going to bounce. Maybe for Merea. And then Maria. Maria Telema. She went to the feet of Dunemba. 
Koupa. Koupa, Olipis, Bala, strong chance from Zemanasau. So she goes down, confusion. Maria Talemba, replacement. For Tambua, Zemanasau, tiptoeing through. The LOI for Davis's. She's gone straight to the center. The LOI, the right back, Masao. Masao holds, gives it away unnecessarily yet again. Kaipu. Well, the reinforcements are far, far away. In a different galaxy. Now, running on to this is. Lucas, easy break in Angelin Recker. Here control again by Nalamba. Taipu, Kutubu, Padio's wide. Padio being covered by Jotovino Kambua. Still Ramona Padio. Nikova has been kept busy the entire evening. Nikova. Better play by Bekani Devot now in Nikova. the second half here. Goals for Davis, lines it up! Nikova is down. Smash straight into Bekani. Fiji building up well in the second half so far here. Uh, much better play than the first half. So look at this challenge again. And she was shoved away by uh, Bakani. Georgina Bakani. Another opportunity for the Fiji side. Davis to take this free kick. 57 minutes gone by. And running repairs about to be given to Kukubu. <laughs> Davis. They have the numbers in the box. Let's see what options Fiji take. Six players inside the box for Fiji. Trina Davis over the ball as Calvin Berg has a word with the wall. Davis, the previous kick had gone over the netting. Short for Tambua. Back to Davis. Drifts it in this time. And a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Side. We will get a better glimpse. And uh, Fiji now will believe in themselves here that they can do it. Well, the stadium erupted. Fiji denied by a flag. Papua New Guinea now looking to take advantage of it to Kaipu. Rekka. Raymond just taking a look at that. Offside again. Yeah, we'll be getting uh -huh. that in. A, we'll be getting that in a moment while we get out of this uh, area here. It's in a scoring opportunity. Also, Fiji looking again. Papua New Guinea. Wonderful cover from Vanasau. Looking for Davis. Riley covers. Tampua against Potuba, who goes down awkwardly. Davis is moving. They're looking to shift. Upa Upa for Narita Lema. Davis calling. She's onside still. Tucked it back over. Cassie Ray's head. 
a good save. Good save by Kesare. We gotta give that to her too. But again, Fiji pushing. Excitement. This is the uh, earlier cross. This is the one by Davis. Missed. And almost falling through as a royal long bow. Weka. That is poor from Angelin Weka. Yeah, Penji looking in a bit of disarray at the moment. Fiji pushing. Pressing football. Making PNG creating mistakes. The strangest of it is from Emma Merea. Tambua. Slides Pala. Malikos. Well, in the first 45, it was both the runs of Elipis and Butubu and Kaipu you sort of feel the battery levels are slowly draining Pala and Kaipu's onside smack that over the bar Marie Kaipu yeah that was a good attempt by Marie Kaipu on her own she had no other options on the ball but yeah she turned away well from uh, kept the Fiji captain Sophie well, Elipis is about to make an exit with Kalista Maneo her replacement as PNG look to settle their nerves this goes over the head of Morris them in a south for Davis. Laeli tracking Davis. My oh my, she's like a bullet train. Good defense by Gloria Laeli. Yes, yeah, it's fortunate that she yeah, did not get a card for that, too. Couldn't turn away from her. She actually shoved her out. She's lucky she hasn't got a card. Yeah, she's very lucky with that. Frustration, Raymond creeping in since Davis has been largely cut out. to be taken by Georgina Bacani and Phyllis Pala Kaipu here again now PNG win possession Pala Maneo is on the right Pala held on to this a little too long Reka now Fiji advance she needs to get this ball out quickly gives it away quite cheaply Sliding into cover, Emma Merea throwing PNG. Calvin Burke showing himself too, also. <laughs> Calvin Burke. Here it is, Elton Common. <laughs> see the frustration on his face. Feeling would be neutral for his counterpart in Angeline Chua. The amount of Missed opportunities. There she is, the coach for the Fijian national team. Pala for Kaipu on the edge of her right boot. Oh, almost an own goal. Fiji captain almost creating an own goal. And the LOI would have effectively killed her nation's chances. There's this the is Kaipu. Kaipu. Fourth corner now for in this match for the Papua New Guinea side. Ramona Padio. Padio for PNG.
Body off in the foot, it curls. Bust everyone. La Lamba clears. Good number, weak from the defender. That ball serving no purpose whatsoever to the overall objective that Papua New Guinea want to achieve this evening. Guniemba, is she related to Raymond Guniemba? I have to check my records for that. They <laughs> are most likely in the same household. The Guniemba family are quite well known in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea for themselves, chasing that historic sixth. Anything less than that will be deemed a disappointment to this nation who for so many years have had their women's national team carry the flag proudly for that country. What? Since 2003 when women's football was first introduced. And that was in Suva, wasn't it, Raymond? Yeah, that's right. Was it Suba? Can this <laughs> gold medal be taken back? Raymond is Fiji for the first time in their history. Back play to here Suba. tonight. Well, we'll see. Still got time. Lemo Still is, got time here. Lemo is checking for the. It is football. Every football. minute counts. Demanasau. Demanasau with an attempt. And uh, that was a great save as uh, Kessare uh, close by to it. It's a scintillated run from the near post. Yeah, she did a did a very good cut back in. She looked at the near post. Cassare, as you said, didn't get tested throughout the tournament so far, but getting tested tonight here. It's a good near post. Curla, good save, Cassare. And the reason why Temanasau decided to go for goal is because on the far side. Fiji forward Trina Davis is currently being attended to. Sixty-seven minutes gone by here at the National Stadium of the Solomon Islands. Fiji with their first corner. This is their second corner in the game. Thanks, Raymond. Second corner. Papua New Guinea got four to compare. And Davis is off. Fiji down to ten players. Asao, wonderful delivery. Maratelema, ducks straight in. And again, the near post drives. Yeah, pressure on the Papua New Guinea defense now. Pario, Pala, Mane is running. This lady too, Kaipu. Beautifully given away yet again, Fiji. Well, Unaisi Kumberi hasn't been steady. Nassau, coming Nassau for Fiji inside the box with Laeli. After left boot, Calvin Berg is coming across to check Fiji's striker. Yeah, that's again a good with that save. Good run by uh, them and Asao, stretching the uh, Papua New Guinean defense. Turned away very well. Talista Maneo gets past Rekha. Maneo to PNG. Again with the follow up. Wangali, Bala. Raymond has not had a good night. Multiple shots to order. It just rebounded off those gloves. Yeah, she's pretty uncomfortable in those uh, collecting those, uh, but it did enough to make the save here today. Remember, 
To, to sú vidí tam bola. Maria, Emma Maria. Yeah. Emma Lemba, the left sided defender for Fiji, the first card of the evening. And this is what actually happened. She went in late. And yellow card correctly given. for Papa the Gillies, Marilyn Sally for Anastasia Gunemba. Sally will just start going to uh, Emma Le and Maria. Emma, Emma, Maria. It's Raymond, a substitution also for Fiji. Gunemba gone off. Marilyn Sally. Fiji have a change to Luisa Taminito Kula, the super sub from Bar. Every time she's come on in the tournament, there's always been a penalty. Well, we'll see. Counting down, though. From Nerea. Lasau. Switches over the head, Davis. Looking to make an impact for Fiji as they look for their equalizer. 19 minutes or so remaining here. A wonderful night of football as Calista Maneo. Well, Timber is down. And there it is, the second for Papua New Guinea. Yeah, very, very big blunder by Fiji. Marie Taipu doubles PNG's advantage. Yeah, that looks like the killer blow uh, for the Fijian side. They let her through Marie Kaipu, but she's been trying hard all tonight for the Papua New Guinean side here today. And there's joy. There was a defensive error. Kalista Meneo, the replacement. And I see Kumberi had actually given that ball away. Gave it away very cheaply. And Maria Kaipu. Beautiful goal by her. Good effort by the striker. She's been trying all night today. She's been at the Fijian defense tonight. And she's been successful with this second goal here. And you can see the jubilation. And the uh, Papua New Guinea in Seoul is history in the making for six in a row. Well, we are about 18 unofficial minutes away and with some added time. But two nils. Davis, she shifted to the left. I have to say, goalkeeping and defensive errors have really cost Fiji here tonight. Maria with the throw. Masao and Davis. Still Davis. Kutubu. Sally with the clearance. Reka who'd been strong. Berry. Tambua. Yellow Ivo. Despite the challenge and mountain possession that they had, 
Papua New Guinea's two counter-attack goals really punished this team in black and white. Skamani to Akula drop. Once you went down, the other way go. <laughs> Makani not happy with that. Tambura wins another corner for Fiji. This could be taken, I think, by. I can't quite see clearly from here. Can't be Nereta Lemba. No, it's Lisa Tamani Tokula. Now a decent cross coming in. Kasira again misses that. No players on the end of that delivery for Fiji. Davis. And Sal. He took this to the corner. Need a bit more urgency, Fiji. Now with the clock ticking down. And behind by two goals. Fiji and assistant coach. Well, Adi, how had just... Watch that ball go past her as Kaipu, she's going to be onside. Kaipu looking for a second. Rekka with no support nearby. He's looking at the captain, the Alawai. Yeah, frustrated looking uh, Fiji coach, Angeline Chua. Been let down by her defence today. Bit relieved, Papua New Guinea coach this time. Eric Common, former international for Papua New Guinea. Pala, Pario, she's on side. Oh, good touch. Flick, flick from Pario. That's a fifth corner for Papua New Guinea in this game today. Pario has up here. Take this as Calvin Bird. Well, there's an injury. I think it's to Jacovini Tambua. She's down. They're still uh, they're normally at the 75th minute. They take a water break, but not uh, in the second half. So probably the heat, the humidity has gone down a bit here this evening. We have some added time in this second half. It'll be interesting to see the added time that will take place. Well, Angelo Chua has sent her reserves to warm up. Naomi Wangan Indrolo. Indrola. Pario. Pario near post. The yellow eye heads away. So too does Laulamba. Back to Pario. Kept on side by the Fiji backline. Pario to drift it. Calista Maneo is calling. Goal for Sally. Dropping back. Mari Bakani. Clever. Angeline Rekka for Fiji with this throw. Right. But she allows Maneo. Wrong direction, Masao. Hi. Scalvin Bird pulls a free kick. They're looking for answers. The coolers. Raymond. Now, now me wandering roller. So they're going to push her on to the right side of defense for Sophie to move forward. Well, while Fiji's coach Angelin Chua was frustrated, he has to take responsibility for the poor structure in the first 45. Papua New Guinea. 
when they smell blood, go for the kill. Kaipu to Kalista Maneo. Maneo! Yeah, yeah, definitely a good goal again. Fiji with a blunder in defense here today, this evening. But Papua New Guinea, nothing to be taken away from them this evening here. A great goal. The Fijian goalkeeper, Wangali, slow to come out uh, again. And it's the Papua New Guineans on a high. Gold medal on their way. Six in a row. What a record will they have. Well, as I said, Raymond, when Papua New Guinea smell blood, they circle like sharks. And darting straight in, it was a defensive error again. Already three defenders. And the replacement, Kalista Maneo. Good work by her. She never gave up. Just lifted it over. Three Fiji players beaten in a row. And if Fiji will analyze this, it has been all their defensive blunder today that has let them out. The goalkeeper coming in again too early. But congratulations to Papua New Guinea. They're taking advantage of those sort of mistakes here this evening. And it shows on the scoreboard. Well, in Mosby, they must be all celebrating wherever Papua New Guineans are watching this evening. They must be all in a jubilation. Record number six on the way, coming home to Port Mosby. Fiji goalkeeper down, needing attention. Merisani Wangali. Hit in the back of that play. It was a collision in defense, Raymond. Let's have a look how it all eventuated. Reka had been sprinting back. There it is. She collided with her own player, so to say. And again, it was poor position from Emma. From Bakani Kora. Well, despite. Fiji's replacement goalkeeper is Selai Tiko Isuba. Whether she's warmed up or no, but uh, yeah, the stretcher's being called. No, uh, the goalkeeper is okay. I think it is Tumberi. Well, I'll, I'll say this, Raymond. Regardless of tonight's loss or what the final score, whatever that may be, Fiji, I feel, should be proud. Even the Samoans feel for Fiji. <laughs> well, those smiles really summarize what the 2023 Pacific Games have felt for many of us. It's been yeah. a wonderful experience. Angeline hasn't Shua it? is Roy Krishna's wife. Frustrating times as time ticking away. Not happy scenes when you stretch it off, though. That PG players losing a bit of hope now. Looking at them all, looking dejected, looking down. That's where the jubilation is with six in a row coming up. One of the things uh, Raymond and I have been speaking about over the past couple of weeks that we've been here in the Solomon Islands. This includes with uh, Alex Walmoa, the three of us have been covering these wonderful Pacific football matches. But the growth of women's football across the region, something that all our nations are hoping to aspire to, to have. 
facilities like this that here we have in uh, Solomon Islands here women's facilities well they've been given a ground behind where the main stadium is and across it's got uh, also grandstands there so uh, Fiji will have a substitution shortly so to come on Asisela Gokanasinga and Luis uh, Simmons two that two will be the first one Not a happy ending for uh, a Fijian player being uh, captured off. Oh, man, it might be Angel Ngata. If she did fall back with Kumberi, we'll just confirm the number. Yes, yeah, it is, is Angel Ngata that has been uh, changed. And Asela, Asela Dokanasinga goes on. Painful end for Angela Recker. She uh, and she's Fiji's best defender, in my eyes at least. Yeah, another sub also. The Sophie goes off. Coming off. The captain goes off. Lisa Simmons from uh, Lombasa comes on. Starting 11 for Fiji, taken off. Yeah, they got to get the changes in, but uh, yeah, you got to rake in the changes here to give fresh pairs of legs out there. It's been a tasking, uh, daunting task by both the sides here. And of course, it's the Papua New Guinean side that have had the better of uh, this game also here. They look more composed in their attack, more physical in their approach, whereas Fiji's laid back here. And that was being their strength for the Papua New Guinea side. They've been more physical in their approach and looking for all the loose possessions that they have and taking advantage of the poor Fiji defense here. We uh, looked at it early. Coordination not in that. And we see in a while ago when uh, Angela Reka went off, it, the goalkeeper and Angela, they didn't have any coordination at all. No talking in defense. So when you look at the three goals that they've scored, nothing to be taken away from the Papua New Guinea side. But the coordination in the Fijian defense has been poor right throughout this game. Raymond, I absolutely 100% agree with you. That lack of communication and, of course, coordination defensively and in the midfield have really allowed Papua New Guinea to take full control of this picture the Kubu yeah, the Papua New Guineans uh, really look good now at this stage of the game Fiji's fighting spirit in the early first half has winged away now and it's a different lineup to the one that sang the national anthem at the start of this fixture. And of course with the loss of Angeline Reka. And the captain going off of also. So Papua, coming off. Papua New Guinea now raking the changes. Uh, Singara together with uh, Musa. Frederica. So they feel now that it's kind of home and hose, just less than a minute and a half with the added time to go. Beautiful evening for the Papua New Guineans this evening with the six in a row history in the making for Papua New Guinea women. Getting one better. Talking to John Kapu, the president. He had a lot of faith in this uh, Papua New Guinean women's side. A lot of them play for Hekari, which his wife is the president of. A 
for Papua New Guinea with their fourth substitution as Ferdia Namuish comes on. Here's the substitute in Louisa Simmons. Trying to doubt who is on the cover. Angola, she was looking to. Yeah, we've got eight minutes of additional time to the end of this game here. Trina Davis. Been pretty, been pretty physical on her. Chua, not happy with it. Angeline Chua, the Fiji coach. And over the ball right now. Louisa Kamani Chua Too hard at the start. High cross. Four for <laughs> Bakani Deva, and that Raymond pretty much sums up. Yeah, Fiji's the first evening tonight. Minutes. Yeah, Bakani Deva, who's been a live wire in the semi finals. Uh, a very quiet evening today by Bakani Deva's uh, standard. Bakani Guinea, who have had multiple losses in international friendlies ahead of the Pacific Games. They actually lost to Fiji in the four nation friendlies in Australia. Not, not an indicator, but anything can turn. Davis, Davis now for Fiji against Cassiway. And she pulled one back. Yes, she does. Maybe coming a bit too late. Trina Davis credited. Everybody's loving that. Well, that's what you wanted to see from Fiji, superstar player. It was a wonderful ba ball from... Bakani Deva. Deva. We've been saying, and Trina Davis. And this time, Kesare couldn't quite cut the angles for her. Well, they've got six minutes. To do that again twice, Raymond. That can still happen. 3-1. urging the Papua New Guineans to quickly take the throw. He has the final time in the end though. This is Shindaya, the substitute. That goes high. Leg stays down. Butubu. Maneo calling. Pala, Kutubu, Mario, and Bakani, and Simmons brought down, Pala, and Ali, and Bakani Fevers. way back, now in defense, and look for Trina Davis again, Davis. Well, Davis was out muscled and easily lost position there, Raymond, because she doesn't push the ball far enough ahead of her to really chase after it. Yeah, frustration by PG now happening. Narieta Lemba. A goal in this minute or so will ignite a lot of action. Can look to see exactly what happened. Narieta Lemba. Oh, it's the second time that Narieta Lemba's done that. Nine stages with the first 45. And now at the business end of this match, he's doing it again. We still have Adi Lutia Bakanifeva 
being attended to. It's been a hard day in the office for Fiji. So we have the clock slowly winding down. Papua New Guinea look good at this stage. I think it has been a beautiful game this evening. Everyone's enjoyed it here. Raymond will be back again tomorrow to do it all over again. This time in the big one. The uh, men's gold medal playoff. Yeah. Well. There's history also tomorrow. Can Solomon Islands win their first ever gold medal? In front of their home crowd. It will be a sellout crowd. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, the local time here. Now coming forward for PNG, Upa Upa. Well, again, Raymond. Merseini Wangali has been uncomfortable. It's been a very uncomfortable night for the Fiji keeper. Pardio. Away. Pardio goes down right in front of Berg. And that's where she wanted to wind the clock down with the free kick for the Papua New Guinea side. The captain has been very instrumental tonight. The top goal scorer in the women's competition, Ramona Pardio. Mario. She captains the side to her sixth gold medal. Carried the flag for PNG in the opening ceremony. Flag bearer, captain, and our gold medal winner again, Ali. Halfway, PNG quite comfortable. Pario tees up Kaipu. They're yeah, off from an indrola. PG really having no answer now at this late stage. Ah, uh, again another and defensive error. Back. Another defensive error. And uh, Kalistio gets his second goal. And the fourth here this evening here. What a guy. Mistake. There's jubilations around for the Papua New Guinean side. And the replacement gets his second goal here today. With the Fijian goalkeeper Merisani Wangali again making a major blunder here. And definitely you can say this has been a PNG finals all the way here they've dominated the game here and a history in the making that's awaiting them for their sixth gold medal this evening here at in Honiara on a very beautiful evening that who could have asked for a more colorful and beautiful evening as we look at that mistake and again following through the Fiji defense not at all wanting to come by Fiji goalkeeper Merisani Wangeli Wangeli with that mistake Jeremy well, while it was a defensive error it was a wonderful follow up from Christian Maneo Mr. Maneo sorry Maneo that's her second goal this evening Scored in the 80th, 98. Yeah, we've gone on to the referee's time just on a minute of added time. Calvin Bird just taking a look at his watch as well. 
jubilation for the red, black, and gold. The flag of Papua New Guinea being raised across the national stadium of the Solomon Islands. We are on to referee's time at the moment. He's uh, taken that added time from the eight minutes. But it's the history in the making for Papua New Guinea. Phyllis Pollard would come off with injury, coming back into the pitch. A rebounds for her, Pala. There she is, Phyllis. Kaipo. Poor control again from Kaipo. It's Galvin Berg goes an end. And Papua New Guinea, gold medal number six. Jubilation, oh, 